about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm taking you inside with me at the Beat Bash. Take a look. I'm well, how are you? Did you enjoy Good. the show? I did. Good. You guys are a big deal. Tell me how you guys got started. I have no idea. <laughs> no, you know, we uh, it's it's all completely by accident, to be honest. We, um, you know, Matt and I are our best friends since we were six years old and played music together our whole lives, toured the world together playing music, and um, he had two daughters, kind of had to stop doing the rock and roll thing while I continued. Um, I had two nephews at the time that were right around the same age. We were just writing music for the kids. And slowly but surely, you know, this business kind of developed itself. We never had any ideas of how to make this a business. It just kind of just evolved into its own thing. You know, we, we went from three or four songs to saying, why don't we do an album? And then after we did an album, someone said, why don't you play a birthday? So we did a birthday. And then someone said, you know, that song would make a good book. So we made a book after the song. And then someone said, do some videos. We did some videos. And it just grew and grew. And then we did a show at the Roxy and Farmer's Markets. And I, I know, I, you know, I said it on stage when we got out here, but it really felt like we went from doing a farmer's market to playing at the Palladium. It kind of felt like it went that fast. It's crazy for us. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we're having a good time. I'll tell you that. Hey, enjoy it. God, what's next for you guys since you guys are like on a roll and you know, keep blowing I, up? I don't know, but you know, we partnered uh, with, uh, with SVP and um, you know, Scooter is uh, is a mastermind, and he uh, on. Yes. he uh, he's he's got some ideas that I'm sure he hasn't even shared with us as yet. So, if uh, if we're here now, I can only imagine what he's got in store for us. Scooter on Jess Baldoni. Here we go. Yes, I know who you are. I know. Yeah, yeah. he's trying to sneak away. I keep saying no, his name. I know. Here, I know. I know. I, I love dad life. So you guys we're dad like life. Like we're dad life. We, did. we wanted dad a match life. today. We didn't really think about it because dad life never should have a white shirt on because it's just gonna get really messy. Right. But it's you fine. Your kids today, so good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How is it here to be here with your kids to be able to bring your kids to something like this? I listen. Nothing makes me happier. I know justice is the same as seeing our kids jump around and have a good time and be happy and. This is the biggest concert of the year for my family. And you're like one of the busiest managers ever. I gotta say, you have a lot of big clients. How do you find time to be here, manage your career, manage the clients, be able to give back? This is the number one priority in my life. And if my clients don't understand that, they probably shouldn't work with me. So we have that understanding and, um, and you know, you, you make time for your family because that's why you go to work in the first place. Everything he said, <laughs> everything he said. This organization is, you know, catered to people that are like underprivileged. So tell me why it's important for you to like be here and be involved with this organization. I thought this was just a show. It is a show, but it's benefiting baby to baby. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> well, well now you awesome. know. <laughs> now I know. Um, you know, yesterday I was with the kids at a another event that was to raise money for a children's cause and. My whole view on it is, you know, we're living in a very polarized time. I think our country is very divided, but I think we can all rally around children and helping them in any way that we can. I would like to help all children. Some people just want to help American children, but, you know. Speaking of children, you have your hands full with your children. They're adorable, by the way. I mean, they Thank have, you. Yeah, like all of them with them. <laughs> I have three kids and I love it. I, I'm so happy being a dad. How do you think fatherhood has changed you? Fatherhood gave me three lifelong gifts and also anxiety. <laughs> I did not have anxiety before I had children. Now I do. But I think that means I'm a good dad because people that don't have anxiety, they do whatever they want. They don't think about the repercussions of their actions. They don't plan for the future. I plan for the future almost obsessively so, and I sometimes can't stop thinking about it. And that's where I, I find it hard and I can't turn my brain off. But that's just because I want to be as prepared and planned for the future as possible. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet of the Beat Bash. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture.
If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.